What's up everyone, it's Tim here, your no-code AI automation expert, and today we're taking a look at this particular workflow that basically uses your YouTube video, transcribes it, and then sends it to an AI agent that summarizes everything, writes a blog post for you, and then at the end sends it to WordPress, creates a post in WordPress, ready to go. So this is an entire workflow, it's a very easy workflow to actually set up. Now this workflow and other workflows can be found in our free group so if you want to get even more workflows done and if you can just go and you know go to, into our group and then import them right here from the file and you can pretty much import any uh, free template that we have in our NA10 community or in our school community so uh, let's break down exactly how you can recreate this particular um, this particular workflow. Now, let me first show you how it works. Now in Google Sheet, what we have is we have an, um, a sheet that has just my YouTube video URL, as you can see, and this is my YouTube video from here. So this is my YouTube video. I put it in here and that's the first, uh, the first part. Now the second part, we have a code which basically just uses a part of uh, this right here so it just uses the ID of the video uh, and then sends that ID to an HTTP request which is basically a request from this YouTube transcript extractor so it basically extracts the transcription and then from there what we have is we have an AI agent that is connected to an AI model open router chat model which is a free AI model uh, or actually directory of free AI models and that AI agent actually went in and uh, creates a blog post based on the transcription, uh, formats it right here uh, for the WordPress and then sends it to WordPress. So if we test the workflow here, uh, you will see how it works. So as you can see, it's pretty fast as well. This is the, the longest part because the AI agent actually needs to actually create the blog post. Uh, but as you can see, you will see it in a second right now uh, after the, uh, the AI agent is done it will send it into a code. Code will basically uh, extract the title, the slug for the WordPress post and the content. And then it will send out, as you can see right here, in WordPress. So if we go into our WordPress, if we refresh this, we'll see that we have the, the um, title here, as you can see. So we have the title, if we click on it, this is how it looks like, right? And obviously, you know, we have to actually go here and format like bold some things and stuff like that. But overall, this is very, very uh, good, right? And then also, uh, as you can see, we are using some examples here, like image examples. Uh, we can also go and use that and paste it. And it's not, the blog is not that long. So what I would recommend is if you want a longer blog, use Claude 3.7 Sonnet. Uh, but as you can see, let me actually go and let me break down exactly how to do this. So first thing that we want to add is we want to add Google Sheets trigger. Now this is a trigger that will be triggered based on the row added. So make sure to go on Google Sheets, add it as a trigger and make sure to connect it. So you want to connect it by going to the pencil icon, sign in with Google and that will connect with your Google Sheets trigger. From there, what you want to do is you want to obviously create Google Sheets, something like this, where you have a video URL and you have like a URL as an example. Uh, again, this is my video, but this could be your video. Um, make sure it's, it's right here. So this is, as you can see, the name of it and the sheet one, because we're actually using the sheet one here. And once that is done, make sure it's row added. It should look like this in the test output when you just fetch test event it should look like this so once you have this what you will need to do is you will need to create a code now uh, obviously you can pause the video here you can copy this code right here but again if you want all of these codes can be found in our group along with the template so you don't actually have to go and you know watch everything uh, one by one but this basically code is uh, using the output. So let me just show you here. It's using the video URL output and it's just extracting this part, which is ID. We need this ID to be able to transcribe it with our transcription software right here. Okay, so that's the second, second code. 
the third uh, or second node the third node is HTTP request node now this is one of the most important nodes um, so actually let me show you how this works so you need to go and you need to log in here into YouTube transcript.io as you can see this is the the link and you want to go to API and as you can see here you will get every single thing you need about the API requests so how the HTTP uh, node works is <clears throat> We want to post, we want to make sure that the method is post because we want to post based on the video ID, we want to post the transcription and we want to use this endpoint URL. And as you can see, this is the endpoint URL that we're using. And as you can see, this is the parameter, which is post. And then this is how you can authorize your API token. Now, as you can see, I put it here. I put none, send headers. And I have authorization, basic, and then this is my API key. Now, don't worry. I know this is publicly showing the API key here. I will actually change this API key later on. And make sure the content type is application JSON. So with this, when you have all of this, you can test the step. And by the way, you can, uh, you can uh, create an account here on this uh, YouTube transcript.io and you can go to the profile and as you can see here you have your api key and you can revoke the token at any time and keep in mind you get 50 free transcriptions every single month so every single month you can use 50 of your youtube videos and turn them into blog posts so once you ha once you have that this is how it should look like right here and then what you want to do is you want to make sure you're sending the body because the body will actually structure the um the transcription so it will know okay which video i need to use to transcribe and as you can see using json and then this is what you want to copy and inside of this right here it should be your video id as you can see i drag and dropped it right here inside of these brackets as you can see so once you have this you should be getting this type of output where you're getting a lot of different things and don't worry we just need the uh, transcription so we go and create an AI agent node and with AI agent it needs to be tools agent and we need to define the prompt below but before the, we define the prompt below we want to add a chat model now as I said here you can add a chat model and you can go for Claude 3.7 Sonnet which is the best model out there however if you want to go with free one with free model I use open router chat model and I basically went in and added the API key here. Now, in order to add the API key, you wanna go to Open Router AI, and you simply wanna create an account and go here to keys, and then you just create a key, uh, you name it however you want, you copy it and you can paste it in here. Now from there, uh, you can obviously go here and search for free, and you will get a lot of different AI models for free, that can use the the response and that can summarize the response and make it and turn it into a blog post right so i'm using hugging face zephyr 7b beta but again this is just for an example as i said if you want better output make sure to opt in for claude 3.7 sonnet the best model for for a blog post by far now from there what i have here is a prompt if you go to expression this is the prompt I have. So write a blog post in first person from personal experience, sharing insights as someone with experience in a given topic. The tone should be engaging, easy to understand, 8th grade level and free from unnecessary jargon of or overly complex words. Use this transcription to create a blog post and then I put the transcription here, which is going to be the transcript. So we actually need to scroll here and this is from the HTTP request. It's coming from the HTTP request and if we scroll here below I think it should be somewhere around here so bear with me here um, so yeah you have transcript and basically you just drag the transcript right here and then the title of the video can be from your previous node which is let me just go here let me move this and actually the, the the title of the video is somewhere around here i think uh, uh yeah as you can see simple text this is the title of the video you drag it right here and then i also have other you know uh part of the prompt so again the better the prompt the better the blog post will be this is how it should look like on the right side 
you test it out and you should be getting output like this one and now what we want to do for the ending is we want to have another code that will take that output and extract the title and extract the slug and extract the content out of that because in WordPress as you know this is the slug this is the title and this is the content so we actually want to do that and we're doing that with this specific um, again code that again can be found in our free group uh, so yeah if you want you can use that uh, code and as you can see we're getting the title we're getting the slug and content and by the way the slug needs to be formatted in a really great way where there are no double dashes because Google hates double dashes so if you for example have something like like this right you want to be able to remove it and this is what our co code is doing so uh, that's the second thing now from there it's simple we want to go and we want to connect the WordPress here so just go on the um, add a WordPress and you want to go here your username is usually your email but it could be your username but I'm using email in this case because my account has email and then WordPress URL is the WordPress URL and the password is not actually your WordPress password so you want to go in WordPress you want to go to edit profile and in edit profile what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you see this right here new application password name type in NA10 and then just hit add new application password from there you want to paste it here and it needs to say connection tested successfully and from there what you want to do is you want to put resource to be post operation to be create and then title is JSON title from here content is content and then slug is slug right here and it should look like this and this is how it should look like in the output and that's pretty much it right that's how you can create this AI automation workflow uh, again, if you don't want to bother with, with all of this building and stuff like that, you can go into our free community. Um, I did mention it a couple of times, but that's just because we're pretty much putting all the templates from our YouTube videos there. Um, just so it is acting like one database. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, again, you know, for the transcriptions, you're using the YouTube transcript for the... Um, posting WordPress and then AI agent and open router for writing uh, the uh, post. So that's pretty much it. It's a very simple workflow. If you have any comments, anything specific you want to know, comment below or, you know, go into our group and you can ask any of our experts, including me, about anything. So, uh, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.